Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Classroom. This video covers how to grade assignments in Google Classroom. Now, to grade your students' work in Google Classroom, you'll want to first start by accessing the assignment. You can do this in a couple of ways. One option is to go into the class itself, and then go to the Classwork tab, find the assignment, and then click on View Assignment. That'll bring you to the assignment page where you can see all of the students' work. Another option, if you want to see all of the assignments that you need to grade for all of your classes, is to go to the Menu button in the top left-hand corner of Classroom and click on the To Do option. This will take you to a page where you can see all of your classes and any assignments that still need to be graded. You can again click on that assignment to access the assignment page with all of the students' work. When we're on the assignment page, we can see how many students have turned in their assignment and how many are still working on their assignment. One neat thing about Google Classroom is you don't have to wait until the students turn in their work, though, to check on how they're doing. Even though these are not turned in, you already have access to these because Google Classroom shares the students' work with you during the process. This is a fantastic way to be able to check on students and their progress on how they're doing. For example, let's open up demo student number one. Even though this student hasn't turned in their assignment yet, we still have access to their document to be able to see how they're doing so far on the project. This is a wonderful way to check on how a student is doing and provide feedback to them as needed. For example, we could leave a comment for the student to let them know they need to check on their spelling. As the students turn in their assignment, the number will change on the assignment page to show how many have turned in the assignment and how many are still working on it. You can also see which students have turned in the assignment on the left-hand side or by clicking on the turned in to limit it down to just those who have submitted their assignments. Again, we can click on a student's document when we're ready to go in and grade it. Now you can review through the student's work just like before, and of course you can leave comments like you did before as well. There's also a comment bank feature in Google Classroom that allows you to add commonly used feedback that you can then copy and paste into these comments. We'll cover that in another video. If a student has submitted more than just one file, you'll see a list of all of their assignment files here in the top right hand corner. You can click on each of those to open up their individual files. When you're ready to give the student a grade, you can put that in the grade box. There's also a spot down below to add a private comment if you want to give the student feedback that goes just to them concerning this assignment. After you have finished grading a student's assignment, you will need to return it to the student. You can do that by clicking the Return button up in the top right hand corner. This will send the grade to the student and will allow them to have edit rights to their files again. Instead of returning one student at a time, you can also work through all of your students, putting their grades in, and then using the little down arrow to the right of the return option, you can return multiple submissions and select multiple students at once to return their grades. In addition to grading and returning in the individual assignments, you can also do this back on the assignment page. On the assignment page, you can enter grades, and you can also use the return button to return the grades to the students. Another place where you can grade student work and return it to the students is on the Grades tab. If you go back to your classroom and go over to the Grades tab, you can again enter the students' grades and you can click on the three dots button next to the assignment to return all of the work or the three dots button next to an individual assignment to return just that individual student's grade. So those are the basics for how to grade assignments in Google Classroom. Check out the other videos in this series for more training on how to use Google Classroom. The full list can be found at www.controlaltachieve.com slash classroom videos.